Yo, what is going on and welcome to another episode of the Urban Pitch Podcast, the beautiful game of life, part of the Believe Network. I'm Ramsey Abushala, editor of UrbanPitch.com. We got the co-executive director of Survives in the building, Bridget Flores, Julio Mataros. What's going on, y'all? Hey, we have a special, special Very guest. Special, special guest. Special, who we got? Special. Who, who, who we got? Bridget, who we got? Bridget? We got El Mas Ra. Yeah, I can't roll my arms like that. The Ratchet Man Shootouts. Hey, what up? What up? What up, guys? In the building. What's going on, man? Hey, thank you guys for having me. I'm just chilling, you know, trying to get the ratchet time like Julio over here. You know what I'm saying? We have family on now. This is not even a guest. This is family. Yeah. Yeah. Friend of the pod, he's performing some of the events. Uh, yep, yes. got us hyped. Got know. us kicked out. Oh. <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah right. Stuff. We'll get, we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, oh wait, yes, yes, <laughs> oh, yes. He's like, yes. Oh, got yes. his whole sound pulled out. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a little bit. But um, I was like, wait a minute. You're I like did me? That? Me? <laughs> Am I the problem? <laughs> <laughs> but but how how do we all meet? Because um, I feel like it, like. You guys especially go back um, a little bit, but how, how did that whole the uh, first uh, intro uh, um, come about? Uh, shout out to FIFA, I would say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for FIFA, like bringing me into like, yo, come and play soccer with mm-hmm. me, and I would just show up, pick up games, and I mean, I would be dying, and you know, that's but so I'll try. Mm-hmm. I'll still try and play. And I think I met. Uh, that's where I met like uh, Chino and all mm-hmm. the other dudes. Yeah. You know, yeah. like. But yeah, FIFA was the one, and then I think from there I just you know started, hey, oh yo, this is my pupusa friend, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Sorry, friend, and then you know I met him and his brother, and then I met her at the parties and events, and she was amazing. The first time I met her, she was off the bat. I was like, she's dope as hell. Yeah, so, who's in there? You know, yeah, supporting in the vibes. And, and then we went, to, I think, Korean barbecue with the yeah. whole squad and yeah, everything. Definitely yeah. Right. yeah, that was like the first time where I actually like got to meet the whole urban pitch and the whole squad. Mm. Uh, for some reason, uh, I forget her name. She always calls me Mas Fortuna, but... <laughs> Are you talking about Gina? Yeah, yeah. Gina. <laughs> Mas Fortuna? Every time she's drunk, she's like, Mas Fortuna! <laughs> but no, she she knows. She just does it like out of love she now. She doesn't know when she's yeah. drunk. Did you, do you hear it with the melody? Mas Fortuna! <laughs> Yo, no. One of the craziest things. He hit it. Oh, we did karaoke. Oh, he did it. He, he yeah. dropped it. He dropped Shout his, out to uh, Mas Fortuna. Yeah. So we were doing karaoke before he even started. I forgot the song, but he was like, yeah. Mas Fortuna, but Rose, not even your song. Yeah. <laughs> it's some yeah. Jonesy. Yeah. It's Jonesy. Oh, my God. He dropped his own tag he on the song. He dropped his tag on the song. Oh. Like, he was doing like Viva La Vida or something like Coldplay. Yeah. Ever since that day, I never forget. Oh that. Every time God. I see him, I'm like, I think of that moment that where crazy. he hit that yeah. note. Every time I see him, like, in my head, I'm like, I don't say, I'm like, what up, Mas? But he'd be like, I'd be like, Mas Fortuna. <laughs> that was, that was fire, I, though. Was I fire. do got to say, though, you guys do throw, like, the dopest, like, parties like soccer parties like you know mixed with there the whole it is. like it's dope like it's free you can rsvp come and get a drink and all that man it's dope like mm-hmm. i've seen the indoor soccers too like that thing's dope i i've never been till fifa's like yo come through so mm-hmm. that's when i started pulling up to the events and yeah. stuff and then i think we performed one mm-hmm. too mm-hmm. yeah so yeah. yeah that's how you know we yeah, got in uh, to the Gina's, Gina's a nice birthday before we close so, yeah. that was the yeah. very last the last yeah. uh, the last, like, big the last dance <clears throat> the last yeah. dance mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. that was yeah. that was legendary that was but that's how I think I got into back to the question mm-hmm. uh, yeah. FIFA was the one how we got here yeah 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 so I think that was such FIFA. a great way to put it and I think that you you encompass a lot of the things that like Urban Pitch stands for is just like bringing people together, food, like yeah, vibing, yeah. like getting you know getting to know each other. Are you calling me fat right now? Now flat. I respect the thick boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about thickness. Nah, okay. so. <laughs> Gorditos are winning right now. So it's, oh. See, I pants like chance. We out here. We out here. Yeah, yeah, we out here. We out here. We out here. We out here. But yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Dangerous. Y'all taking over, over summer 2023. Yeah. Yeah. It's no, all no, gordita life. All summer. <laughs> summer, baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, so did you, did you grow up playing soccer? Um. BetOnline.ag is your number one source for all your basketball info, stats, news, and scores. Get the latest odds and lines, including the latest player reports for this year's pro basketball playoffs. Bet Online is always your sports information headquarters this season, as we have you covered for all your sports wagering needs. Basketball, MLB, NHL, hockey, right to UFC and boxing. Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to get your betting info, including live betting options and your favorite casino 
and card games you can play right from your home. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to get into the action. Be sure to use our promo code BELIEVE, that's B-L-E-A-V, to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online, where the game starts. I actually did. I did. I grew up playing. It's, it's a funny story. Like, uh, I used to, um, well, growing up, I was in South Central, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, obviously, my mom wanted better, so she kept on coming more north. And mm-hmm. I ended up, like, Echo Park before I ended up in, like, East Hollywood. Mm-hmm. So okay. Echo Park, I would play at Rosemont. And Rosemont had, like, a thing with, like, the baby galaxy or something. Well, LA Galaxy was new, you know? It was... I'm kind of old, I guess I would say, you know, because... Are we, they, are we the same wrong thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, LA Galaxy, MLS didn't have a team. I guess uh, LA Galaxy was new. And then the star was Kobe Jones. So I used to I dig how he played. And then obviously being a Laker, Eddie Jones, Kobe Jones, I was like, what? What is this? Kobe, yeah, 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 and then yeah. Kobe was new. So it was just... I used to play, and then they always used to make me play portero, obviously. Right. You know, they're like, it's the big guy, put a goalie, you know? Yeah. But hey, I used to me, like, I know, I know that same feeling. I used to like playing the uh, defensa, you know, just like I, I would be the crazy one to try to slide on people or whatever. <laughs> but mostly because I was big, I would just kind of scream a lot, you know, like, Row! and then they're like, oh! <laughs> I mean, he's like, no. yeah, so it's yeah, yeah. like, I'm coming, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I've done it a couple of times playing with him, <laughs> like, oh. I swear he's done it to me, I'm like, oh, <laughs> Run the other way. it's like, I'm going to get run over, what's right, going on, right. so yeah, yeah, I mean, but I, I used to like playing defense, because then you just kick it out, mm-hmm. and you know, you did your job, you, right. you know, Oops. protected the goal, yeah, go back, but yeah, every time they made me play goalie, I was like, ah, I want to run, I want to, <laughs> Uh, I want to touch the ball, you know, but it was cool. I played, I guess, for a while, but then I stopped. I started playing uh, baseball a lot with my friends, and then I played Sunday leagues and all that, but I like playing all the sports, basketball, baseball, yeah. football, soccer, every, everything. Yeah, I've seen these guys in the studio playing, like, for, for shots. Like, when, they, when FIFA had the basketball court, yeah, oh, this, this guy, great. they were just out here shooting, like, all right, like, put the money on them. Like, all right, you guys are crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to let y'all do you. I'm going to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I... I'm pretty good, I would say, pretty good for a fat guy to play mm-hmm. basketball. I mean, I skate, you know. I grew up skating, mm-hmm. so, like, uh, most of the time people are always like, damn, what, You're you like know sneaky, how to skate? Sneaky, sneaky athletic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 I'm that sneak. you know, underestimate the fat guy, but he ends up being a baller. That's yeah. that's pretty much. Yeah. That's the best dude to have on your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Underrated. Or yeah, yeah. Just, just throw it in the post. and, and It's kind of like that guy, if you want to bring up, put the clip over here, that guy throwing all these assists. <laughs> Yo, that dude, that, that guy is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. One, two. Yeah, 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 yeah I got a shot, crazy. man. Hey, man, you know, that's why I always tell FIFA too, like, yo, man, let's go get a five. Let's run it, you know, or whatever. I see him sometimes playing, and I'm like, dang, you didn't invite me, bro. You're dang. big man. Uh, <laughs> we supposed to be Shaq and Kobe over here. Now, <laughs> Rap's doing to set it up, so if you're going to get mad at somebody, uh, Rap's no, What are you talking about? What are you throwing me on just threw you all under the oh, bus. Oh, it's John, or is it you? I never set up. I didn't know, bro. Ooh. I did not set up pick one. <laughs> now, now you got him mad. Now you got him mad. Now you got him mad. I didn't know. It's okay, no, no. Rap. It's okay, Rap. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Because <laughs> I wish I, I haven't played with them in a while. I haven't played No, since that's how we did it at John's, but. But when yeah. you and my brother were going like Titanic yeah. against Titanic, bro, so oh, they both yeah. big guys. Yeah, so yeah. then like the ball would go up in the air and they like literally just elbow to each other's chest. Oh, I'm like, bro, like no. this is but, not basketball no more. First though, so I showed up late, so I got there and then I got. We were I all kind of drunk. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then I think Roy was guarding <laughs> me, and I was I was giving Roy buckets. Like I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I, got, Our producer. I was giving Roy buckets, and then they oh, switched that's confidence. That's yeah. a confidence yeah. defense. Like, <laughs> and then they switched Jose onto me, and Jose's a big dude. Yeah, yeah. And Jose's, you know, he he gave me a little yeah. forearm, and I was trying to keep it cool. It was my yeah, first game. Yeah. You know, I was like, okay, I'm. A, and then he hit me with a forearm. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, okay. And so it's like that. And then he gets the ball. He 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 does he does it does it again. Hits yeah. me right here. So then it started. We were going one on one. You know, yeah, talking yeah. trash and all that. It, it kind of. Uh, escalated from you there. You seen Dragon Ball Z when the two like collided? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, 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 like stars like, coming out? Yeah, yeah, like that. It was like that. You see the like, like dirt going off? And I'm in the back. Just like, you, you. <laughs> it, it's probably the Savi in him. He yeah. was trying to cheat yeah. a little yeah, bit. I mean, he was but like I in there it. grabbing his shirt too. too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, do? but he's the honorary Savi at this point. Like, <laughs> that, yeah. that, that means a lot to yeah, me. Bro. He's a fool. He's a fool. Wait, wait, wait. No fork or fork? 
Uh, for the pupusas? No, I'll go bare hands. Okay, 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 okay. Tommy, this okay. guy knows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're in the club. <laughs> you're welcome, Dan. <laughs> he was a little but nervous yeah, there. But yeah, I, I like, want to say I'm the best at, like, uh, sports, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm pretty good. I'm mm -hmm. pretty de decent, I would say, you know? Like, but, yeah, I grew up playing sports. I'm not that guy that can't throw a baseball, you know, right. or yeah. play yeah. soccer. Yeah. But I am slow. I'm not going to say I'm the fastest, but, hey, man, I, it's all about heart and effort at this, at you know, like the, at the yeah, end of the day. At some point, speed, like, come, like leaves the game. You yeah. Know? Like, when you're playing, like, pick up or whatever, like, you don't need to be. Like, yeah. Unless yeah, you're playing with, like, young is. kids. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, Especially, yeah. like, when you go to the gym, you have, like, those guys that are dunking and showing mm -hmm. off. Yeah, yeah. And then you're just this guy that are like, hey, I don't know if I even want to pick this guy. But when they pick me, they're like, yeah, it's all good. Let him shoot. And then you're <laughs> shooting on them. They're like, hey, man, don't let him shoot. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it it's turns out to be that bad. guy. Like, get him, bro. Like, yeah, then they get mad. The worst thing yeah. is when, like, yeah, they don't defend you. You're like, I am trash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the worst one. <laughs> the disrespect. Like, let him go. I'm like, but see, and, you, and, you, and you miss, like, you miss three times, yeah. and you're like, yeah. you feel like AD. Uh, yeah, oh, hey, we're not talking about. We're right. not talking about. Oh, that. Not yeah, not the right about right, I'm already. I'm getting mad again. Yeah. Too soon. Too soon. Right. <laughs> yeah, I had to go to sleep early yesterday because of that. Yeah. that you know, you know, like Turn when you when your mom used to beat you up so bad when you were a little kid and you go to sleep all like that. You wake up with the eyes all swollen. Yeah, that was it was a sad thing. But I'm gonna be honest. We should keep Austin. Vanderbilt. We have to. We have to do. He's. I mean, if he's, you're watching this, man. Yo, <laughs> Rob. Rob. We love you, man. Yeah. Hey, Rob. Yeah. We got to resign. Yeah. We love you. You can easily get Mitch Kupchak and get let go. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. You know? Gene doesn't play no games. He he really killed it. I think he showed out. And um, I don't know. I, uh, this is gonna sound weird, but I'm not a LeBron fan, so. Mm. I didn't really care too much, but I did care that the yeah. Lakers didn't go to the finals and win. But uh, I'm not mad at it, man. Yeah. Uh, the only king in LA is Kobe for me, and yeah. that's that's about it. You know, that's, that's the end of the conversation. That's mutual. Yeah, me. LeBron. I mean, LeBron hasn't won over. He won a championship in LA, yeah. but that like. There's a lot of controversy behind yeah. it. Yeah, no, I just hate the whole talk the about the yeah. who no. is the greatest player in the NBA. No, LeBron and then Steph and then now, mm -hmm. like, yeah. it, yo, everyone's a great player at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, everyone has their own history, their own page. Mm -hmm. You know, like he the did same put way a forty piece though yesterday. He played well, man. He's thirty eight years old, See, dropping and forty. Back to the thing. Everyone's gonna say he did pour the forty piece in the last game. Yeah. Where was that energy when <laughs> you were losing to thirty eight? I mean, you're Kobe. Kobe was like Kobe was, in, but was see, Kobe was in the same at 38. And plus, there was no star at his age. Jordan tried to come back. He was a shell of himself. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, this guy's course. been all right. All right, he's probably not the best player that ever played, but consistently, year after year, like uh, I think I just saw a, a a meme or saying like this guy could have had three Hall of Fame careers oh, yeah. in 20 years. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, like yeah. just like for his first 10 years, yeah. his next five and his next five yeah. is like all. Hall yeah. of Fame numbers. Yeah. Definitely. I don't knock him like on anything like uh, achievements and all that. But I feel like, bro, where was that energy the second game? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's too late, bro. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Right, let's, 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 let's move on. We can, we we can talk about that yeah. all day. So yeah. let's, yeah. Just yeah. Move on. let's get back. I love the Lakers. <laughs> yeah. LeBron, I'm sorry. but It's not about LeBron. It's about Ratchet yeah. Thone. So let's forget about LeBron. Let's get back to the Ratchet Man. Okay, let's get back to the Ratchet Man. Let's get into the music. Let's get into the music. Let's get it. So your origins in music. Uh, talk about how you got into it, you know, growing up in L.A., uh, playing sports as a kid. Where, when did the, the, the whole music side of things uh, come in for you? Um, music's always been a part of me. I've always been, like, that kid that loved instruments. You know, I grew up listening to, like, I, it's going to be weird, but, like, my mom said I used to, grow, like, play tequila every time. Like, <laughs> all the time. I guess mm -hmm. I had, like, a little tape, this little Fisher-Price tape yeah, thing. The, those old school uh -huh. with a little mic. Yeah. And I used oh, to yeah, be yeah, tequila. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. that was, and, like, growing up, like, throughout, like, middle school and elementary i was always into like the music classes so i would be like yeah, i want to play guitar so then like middle school i was like yeah i'm gonna make a band and then i just started making a band but by high school i was playing backyard shows in south central east oh, la all that so music was already in me but I, obviously it wasn't like the latin music like obviously uh my story with music comes from my grandmother and my mom because they listened to like everything bro i was listening to like 
Spanish, Leodan, to Ace and Bass, to Nirvana, Metallica. It was just all mixed, you know, and it was up to me to grab anything. Yeah. But I grabbed it all, everything from all sides. My grandma would listen to like Los Terriculas, Los Temerarios, all the like, you know, the sad rancheras mm -hmm. of Vicente yeah. and the rest. Like, so <clears throat> music was always a part of me. And my dad, he was always that L.A. Cholo gangster shit, fucking ODs. So it's like, I had it all, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, growing up, I wanted to obviously play in a band and be a rock star, you know, but uh, I don't know. Just it all, I guess, went different when uh, <clears throat> I got fired from my marketing job, you know what I'm saying? I was like, Fuck, what am I going to do? You know, music's the only thing I know, and, like, marketing is the only thing I know with rappers and mm -hmm. et cetera. And I started writing music with my friend and started rapping. I was like, yo, I'm going to make reggaeton but ratchet, like, with trap and English, with Atlanta producers, because I knew all these producers and stuff. So then that's when I was like, I'm going to make ratcheton. You know, and that's where it came from. But it all came from South Central, I would say, you know, playing shows in backyards, mm -hmm. DJing, ghetto ass parties, mm -hmm. flyer parties, party. that whole lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I, w I grew up around it, skateboarding, you know, like, so I, I guess music is just a part of elements of all of it. Graffiti, mm -hmm. skateboarding, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all of that. So it's, it's always been around me. But since I was a kid, I would say it all started with that Fisher Price little box <laughs> and i still have it too that's fine uh, yeah nice. i, I rebought it just to have it like right. my mom remembers this i pulled up to the house one time with it i was like you remember this <laughs> and if you yeah. hold too close to get the feedback yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah those things but yeah. yeah so i guess that's where it all started it started from that tequila fisher mm. box i would say a little microphone so it's always been in there but yeah. something about it that don't like like if, if 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 you're like part of the industry everybody like and they mama know them yeah. Like, uh, not to go that far, we had, we had Amir says nothing. Yeah, it's part yeah. of our podcast. And we're like, oh yeah, like this, like uh, we're at FIFA because we were still rec recording off of FIFA Studio. Yeah, yeah like uh, FIFA Rajaton. Like, oh Rajaton, I, I don't know if you remember, be like he was like an A&R trying to sign me to the label, something like that. I don't yeah, know, yeah. I, don't know what the I used to work for. Uh, so it all started like, like I said, when I got let go from that job. I, it just pushed me more to music because I already had the connections. I already knew the big artists. I knew Post Malone before when he dropped White Iverson. Like, mm. I I seen it all happen. I seen people from, like, having nothing to being the biggest artist in the world. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I was like... Damn, I might should just do A and R, but uh, I love music so much that I would just make my own music, and somehow I made a song, send it to uh, FKI first, and mm -hmm. he's the one that discovered Post Malone. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And somehow they were shopping in his studio looking for new artists, and my song came came around Que Lo Que, which is mm -hmm. the first song I ever dropped, and they're like, "What is that?" And they were like, "It's this guy Ratchetton," <laughs> and they were like. Who the hell is he? <laughs> then they showed a photo of me. They're like, what? <laughs> like, this guy is doing this type of music? What? He looks not the pretty boy, regular yeah. type yeah. dude, mm -hmm. you know? So then, yeah, whatever. And then, like, long story short, they were like, he knows everybody in the industry already, so might as well. Let's sign him. Let's market him. Like, so it was easy. It was an easy win for, I guess, both of us because mm -hmm. I already kind of knew the industry. But, yeah, I used to... A and R try to sign people, and I was trying to get uh, Amir, yeah. yeah, hooked up. But man, shout out to Amir, man. He went different route, old school hip hop. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it's it's harder for you to get recognized in that, I would say, type of uh, music because that that sound is not around no more. When it is, it has to be like really made good and right. like shout out to my boy man he's killing it it's going crazy i see i'm i see you boy i see you i see you <laughs> he pulled, him, yeah. yeah he pulled up to my house showed me some stuff he's like yeah I'm, I'm i'm starting to do this like and i was like shit me too yeah. <laughs> show me some shit. Yeah, yeah it was like that i don't know if i can curse i'm sorry but <laughs> i mean like yeah yeah you're good bro. we don't want to yeah, you yeah. don't want to impose any <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no, just you know yeah I don't know if you guys listening to this on the radio. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Shout out to the kids, man. Shout out yeah, to the kids. Shout out to the kids. They, they all the future. Yeah. Yeah. They've been doing it too. Like, 
the kids. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Listen, that's yeah. that's it's not for y'all. <laughs> I would say that's how it all, you know, began. Just uh, I don't know, just faith, I guess, you know. And mm-hmm. I'm I'm still doing it. I'm still working, you know. I got some uh, new music coming out soon. Uh, I just signed a little thing with someone. I don't want to speak on it too much, sure. but like. Um, yeah, got a lot of music coming up. I got the song I made for a YouTuber homie, Danny Duncan. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's pretty much a, off his branding. He always says, Donde esta la leche? He don't know how to speak Spanish. To <laughs> <laughs> That's like YouTube's. his word, you know? So yeah. it's like, I made a, like a, a cumbia song for him and we're going to film a video. It's going to be cool. Yeah. yeah. And I seen, I seen the, the, the IG clip that, that you, you put out. Oh, uh, what well, the the the, leche, the, the guy leche. that oh okay okay yeah, the, yeah, 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 leche. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were bringing up the guy the homeless man that stole the RV when I was sleeping. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh that was crazy. Yeah, I, know. I, I I thought he was part of the group. <laughs> yeah, I really did. I really oh, did. did. But you never know. You never know with that guy because he does a lot yeah, of crazy. Yeah, we like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. New crazy. driver. Yeah, new driver. What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, but it was it was cool. It was cool. It was an experience, I would say, you know. But um, yeah, just pretty My much. My favorite part of the Danny Duncan uh, is me trying to crowd surf at one of the shows. Oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, that was crazy. I don't know why he thought that people, these kids, were just gonna hold me. You know, like they were like jump, jump, and I was like, bro, they're not gonna hold me. They're like, we got you. As soon as I jump, I just see the whole crowd going. <laughs> Whoa! It's just me face oh, everything. Man. Oh my yeah. God. Were you okay though? You, you, I, you that was right? good, but like I guess like I kept on doing it in other cities, uh-huh. you know, trying it and you didn't learn your lesson it. after the first time. No, you just yeah. kept doing it. Yo, I, I knew someone was gonna catch me. Did and they had it. Yeah, Chicago. Okay. The Chicago. Shout out Chirac. Chirac. They was they lit. Their shoulder press. <laughs> yeah, those yeah. kids yeah. were yeah. lit. They yeah. been they been yeah. through some. shit it shows, yeah. Yeah, they were, they were like, just happy to be alive. Like, I know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Chicago. It was lit. They, they, they're the ones that hold me up for Dang. sure. Yeah, that was that was the first time I was like, "Whoa, I'm in the air!" <laughs> You're like, "Wait, I didn't fall." Yeah, I was like, "Yes." Did they did they pull you back up on the stage? Yeah, they, they pulled me a little Yo. bit, and then they're like, "All right, it's too heavy, come on." Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, Chicago, cool. the fittest yeah. city in the world. For yeah. Real. Yeah. yeah, they're yeah. strong they out there. They're it. strong. Yeah. Win city, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, so so talk about your your journey in music from when you you know first got got uh, signed and then to now because I think. Um, just like going through your discography, like your sound has changed a bunch. Like, you know, you're yeah. so versatile. And I think that that goes to like your different influences yeah. growing up. So like how how have you grown since you first started? Um, I guess at first, you know, I was, yeah, I was just metalhead, you know, I would say rock, rock or fool, you know, mm-hmm. like what they would say. But um, I feel like that influenced me to, to have different uh, visions in music, I would say, you know, the sounds that I get from 80s music, metal music, I, it, there's no way that you can like, I mean, I don't know, just the feeling of it, you know what I'm saying? Like you could make it into like Spanish music in a different form, you know, cause at the end of the day it's about the keys. Everybody uses the same keys in music. If you right. want to get all like mathematical sure. and yeah, stuff, yeah. you know, like music theory. Type. But um, yeah, music theory, when yeah. people are like, oh, he don't know music theory. It's <laughs> like, bro, you can listen to all the classic stuff every day of your life and not get bored of it and Mm -hmm. that's the type of music that i want to make something that you can keep playing and playing Mm -hmm. like for example today i was just randomly cooking up a 80s song that sounds like the cure and the smith had a baby Mm -hmm. in spanish you know what i'm saying and like i don't know i guess my influences come all over the place Mm -hmm. and um that's that's I don't I can't describe it like I'm just like Jack Black in the studio sometimes mm. I'm just like do this <laughs> you know what I'm saying right, right, right. yeah and it works I mean sometimes I tell people like space is everything you know like and time wise like sometimes you don't have to spit a hundred bars to be the best you know like it, it's all about how you deliver it and do the music and stuff at the end of the day. But, yeah, all my influences are different, weird. I can name bands and people are like, what the hell? Mm-hmm. For example, last week I was just at a metal show in the mosh pit. Like, sick, like, metal stuff to the people would be like, 
why why is he in there but the crazy part is that i have so much influences in other genres that i was in the mosh pit and someone's like ratchet oh yeah and that right there is like wow like bro like they accept me for who i am and like you know usually some metal guys are like man he's not real (laughs) you know he's not a real rocker but it's like bro if i have influence in this and this and that and that like it's just me. I'm just me. I just kind of put it together mm-hmm. in a pizza form. And, right. you know, so I started doing cumbias, reggaeton, trap, 80s. I I can do it all pretty much. But, you know, I'm just selling Spanish music right now, mm-hmm. I guess I would say, because mm-hmm. that's what people want. And yeah. uh, that's what people request from me sometimes. Like, yo, where, when's the next hit, bro? We need it, you know? But that's... That's pretty much when it comes to music. Like, I'm yeah. all over the place, yeah. literally. <laughs> no, yeah. but metal is making a comeback. Rock Nation just, yeah. just, just signed a partnership. Sorry, I forget the, I forget the, the label's name, but Rock Nation is now a part of it. So He, he forgets names. So I, I forget <laughs> names a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I kind of do know it. Like, call me out for not saying it right. So now I'm just second guessing myself. <laughs> that's, his, that's his line now. Yeah, I forget yeah. the name. Yeah. I forget so, the name. But no, but like, a Rock Nation just, so that means it's, Especially if Rock Nation yeah. is a part of something, it just means that it's coming. Like that, that, that wave is coming. Well, Are we gonna see a Ratchet Tone like metal song? Um, you know, it's funny. I I have been asked before, like, "Yo, when are you bringing the band back? Like, what's up?" You know. But I feel like uh, at right now, at the moment, I would have to focus on building everything that i'm working on i have this thing called ratchet world which is pretty much all the things that i like into a brand you know what i'm saying and that's what i'm working on right now trying to release a brand ratchet world so then that way you can get to even know me a little bit and wear the stuff that i would wear you know what i'm saying like that's pretty much what i'm working on right now and maybe yeah i might drop a metal song just because i mean i've done mosh pit music you know what i'm saying so why not you know so yeah what about like um something like a metal song but spanish version of it see i've never done that there's a spanish band that i listen to from mexico Mm -hmm. called transmetal Mm -hmm. they are the best mexican band Mm -hmm. i would say and they're like heavy metal but like in spanish Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and and i asked that because i feel like when I go back to Mexico, because my family's from Mexico. Deported. Yeah. Shut Yo, up. Yo, <laughs> come on. <laughs> First of all, hey, yo, out of pocket. He, he yeah. was always trying, was I was a, trying to come at me. That yeah. was too fast, too. Yeah, like, yeah. Way too like, he was waiting for me to say something. No, I <laughs> hey, yo, I love Mexico. So I love the F.A. I love, well, they don't call it the F.A. no more. It's C.X., whatever. Mm. Yeah. It's the F.A. to us. Oh, yeah, yeah. exactly. C-D-M-X, C-D-M-X or something it's, like that. It's yeah. also being gentrified, which is a whole no, other thing. No, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, people don't want to call it the F.A. no more. They want to call it CDMX. CDMX. Yeah, CDMX. So, well, you can I go back my back for a yeah. yeah. Anyway, going you. back to that, I have a lot of cousins and family in Mexico that listen to like heavy metal or like mm-hmm. metal or like they really like they're very influenced by metallic, uh, you know, Scorpions, you know, yeah, exactly. And and like very, I mean, they're from out there, so they have that music within within um, like the artists of Mexico that yeah. play that kind of music. And I feel like you have that like touch of like you know playing metal and being an artist that can bring metal and the spanish world together yeah yeah especially not being from mexico yeah yeah i i've it's funny you say that but like uh, mexico loves me a lot so yeah. especially there because <laughs> i have that like i guess i would say that that same style you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying like they have those markets where mm-hmm. they sell the metal shirts mm-hmm. and they're like literally metal shirts but it'll be like juan graviel uh-huh. or mm-hmm. selena yeah. that looks uh-huh. like a straight up metal yeah, shirt yeah. yeah like that's cool that's dope and that's i feel like it's already happening mm-hmm. you know somehow because i feel like everyone wants to make metal music and still be a rapper kind of like cardi for example right. yeah. Uzi, yeah yeah like mm-hmm. but like even like yellow wolf or mgk yeah. like they kind of transitioned into from from rap to like yeah. starting to make so like rock i feel like it's finally happening it's it's accepted more i used to get made fun of for the shirts i used to wear you know what i'm saying not like made fun of like hey you know mm-hmm. more like what the fuck is he mm-hmm. wearing right, you know right, what i'm saying yeah. and like I would even ask these guys when they were wearing shirts that I used to wear, I'd be like, 
yo, bro, what do you know about that band? Right. I, and I know these people. Name so four songs, bro. So they're, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hit them with the name. Give me some Iron Maiden songs. What, why are you wearing this? You know? Yeah, yeah. Or they would wear a Vader shirt. And then that's where it would piss me off because now they're rocking some death metal shirt, like deep in there. And like you're just using it for image to mm-hmm. clout mm-hmm. at this mm-hmm. point. Right. And like, yeah, like I, I have this little story where. Um, I was in a club in Hollywood, right? I was wearing an Iron Maiden shirt, and I was trying to come inside a club. It was a fancy club, um, and Jerry Lorenzo, not to put Jerry Lorenzo on blast or mm-hmm. nothing, but Jerry Lorenzo pops in front of me and is wearing almost the same band shirt, but not like different style. Iron Maiden has, got it looks the outfitters. same, but it looks <laughs> different. Yeah. Well, obviously, Prince Fear of God on it. Right. And yeah, yeah, all yeah. this new high sure, end fashion. Sure. Okay. So Jerry Lorenzo comes in, ripped up, like no sleeves, no nothing, walks in, nothing. And I'm just like, bruh, you're tripping over a shirt that I'm wearing that this guy's wearing almost a similar one rip the hell up and you're gonna let him in bro and like I, I just took it as a fence like man y'all mm-hmm. posers mm-hmm. but that was me being young and ignorant and dumb but at this point I don't care no more I was you know but that was just me being that elitist rock right, guy like right, right. Eh, poser you know mm-hmm. but right. yeah at this point I don't really care no more like but yeah it was one of those things where like bro they used to make fun of me in high school wearing that and you yeah. guys are wearing it to be cool now, you know? So it's like, it used to bug me a lot. Before, and I think you, you know? bring up a good point. Like, now you see, like, I'll walk into Forever 21 and they have all these, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaliyah and um, Iron Maiden and, like, all these. Zeppelin. Like, yeah, Blood exactly. Zeppelin was huge in, like, Urban yeah. Outfitters and all oh, those. All yeah. these yeah. big, like, you know, yeah, like, shirts that brands. you can wear, like, oversized T-shirts that you can wear with, like, these, you know, artists that have, like, a huge name. Mm-hmm. But it's, like you see people rocking it that i'm like do yeah. you really know though yeah like, yeah it, it is it's it is a hard fashion not to thing question. now so it's like metal is becoming a fashion mm-hmm. thing a now. Statement. you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying like yeah so but not the music though because right. some people are still scared of it there's videos of people walking away from cardi set saying it's too satanic or whatever but mm-hmm. it's like the image is there you know they're doing it on the taylor swift show too but it's just pretty she's singing pretty stuff but the imagery is still there like if you watch all these like shows and like academy awards and all that all the rituals are right in front of your face (laughs) they're just singing some cool music Mm -hmm. you know yeah Mm -hmm. so i mean the images will always be there i guess you know we could get deep into that we could get deep into that too Uh we get our tinfoil hats on (laughs) Um, but (laughs) But yeah that's another subject for itself so yeah no but but that that that, that's real though because i think you see it like like whether it's rap metal all these kind of like like punk rock, like these non-pop or mainstream yeah. um, um, genres, they, you know, they, they have, they started, you know, whatever, like imageries or, or, or motifs or themes that yeah. get brought into pop. Yeah, and then yeah, it definitely. takes that pop crossover to, to where that becomes finally accepted. Yeah, yeah. So, like... It's you have finally to, accepted. Yeah, right, so, yeah, so you kind of have to, like, wait for, like... Now you're not going to get made fun of if you're wearing an Iron Maiden shirt mm-hmm. or Metallica shirt mm-hmm. or, exactly. or whatever. But, you know. I mean, if you notice, too, I think on my um, one of my music videos, Hey Nena, I'm wearing a death undersleeve. Like, it's a long sleeve. And you just see the death logos in the bottom. Mm-hmm. But that's like subliminally just showing my personal self. Mm-hmm. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Being me, what I would wear in a rap music video, a reggaeton music video. Mm-hmm. Who wears metal shirts in a reggaeton video? I guess me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know? But yeah, now it's accepted. Now people have nails painted, you right. know, all that other mm-hmm. crazy stuff. But mm-hmm. yeah. It's yeah. it's it's an image that people want to sell now, so it's weird. It's just like a, a trend setting thing. Nowadays. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah, hopefully next time we have a show at Ratchet when he I'm screams out Ma- when he screams <laughs> out Mosh Pit, they don't Yo. shut him down. Oh <laughs> my talk about god! That <laughs> see, <laughs> wait, 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 let, let me paint the picture okay, real go quick. Go <laughs> so yeah, like, let, let's uh, do that. Set, set us he's, the story. He's performing. He's like Mosh Pit, and then like there's a crowd. They're like bumping into each other. Whole Mosh Pit starts going on, and then the owner of the, of the establishment goes. Turn that off now! No, Those, no, he didn't even say that. He just unplugged it. He ran unplugged to the, the DJ sound. and unplugged them. And he's yeah. like, yo, my cup. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My cup. Yeah. So that, this, look, I was performing a trap song 
but the energy that i give sometimes mm-hmm. or even like because that day he was like yo fifa was like yo let's turn this it up i'm like bro don't tell me that bro i'm the wrong person to tell yeah, that yeah, but yeah. he's like no just keep it cool but i was like then that's conflicting how do you turn that, it up yeah. how do i turn it up i get it he's like dude yeah i yeah i i get it but i guess i went too crazy because i was hyped and i seen a lot of people that that were supporting and like they were all like yo i was like who wants to and have fun and start a mosh pit and that's the same energy that like in a metal thing i would do it's the same thing right. you know it's just a different setting obviously and it got wild and then next thing you know i'm over here singing and boop there's no music i'm like hey yo they cut my <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what happened? And then I'm just like, yo, don't invite me here if you don't want this type of energy, man. What the f? Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> I'm like that guy that's getting dragged out. <laughs> yeah, that's Julio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was cool, though. I mean, it, stuff like that has to happen for people yeah. to talk about it for that night. Yeah. Be like, yo, that was wild. Mm-hmm. Yo, what the f was that? Mm-hmm. You know, but it was cool. You know, everything, the night turned out great. So. Yeah. I think it was fun. I, yeah. I was fun, even though they cut my set mm-hmm. short. But Bridget started the mosh pit. She was in the middle of the screen. <laughs> yeah. she, she was the one. The heels oh, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. With the nails. Yeah. It was the Bridget's nails, crowd. The heels. Yeah. It was me and the girls. Yeah. Hey, yeah. That, that summer, we were on. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what about 2023? <laughs> no, nah, we, we, we chilling right now. Uh, <laughs> we, we, they, we're they're we're readjusting to they're a few coasting. things. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get back to me in June, maybe. We'll be outside, yeah. We're doing it a little bit more properly, you know? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but, but talk about performing, because that's something, you know, seeing you, ha- having seen you perform, you know, whether it's at the Virgil, a couple other spots that, that um, um, you know, we've been to. Um, what, like, what's that rush like? Because talking to other people, they said it's like nothing else when, when you go out on stage. To be honest, the rush when you perform, it's like a drug, to be honest. Yeah. Like... I've been to the point where I've been on a show where I'm like sick as <laughs> bro. I, like, cause I've obviously I've gone on tour and all that stuff. So, so sick to the point where in my head, I'm just like, think of Michael Jordan, flu game, flu game. <laughs> it's only an hour. You got this yeah. dying, bro, yeah. dying. Yeah. But the people, the energy you get in return from the kids or whoever it is. And if people are like, yeah, like or whatever mm-hmm. responsive to whatever like for example I, when i went with danny i would just do this thing where like i'll just do like uh let me get a you know and everybody you know. so yeah. that right there that energy if you're sick it's gonna wake you up bro yeah. like it's gonna spark in you like and it just is go time you know like you just forget about everything else you know like yeah you get that feeling of nervousness all the time before but once you hit the stage it's a wrap like all that is out the window it's like i don't know it's a different feeling you know it's like it's kind of like getting chased by the cops and then uh, like that you gotta run you gotta run yeah Uh, (laughs) oh 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 like that people in the adrenaline adrenaline. yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah. but it's all gone once it starts you know what Mm -hmm. i'm saying like it's all it's all smooth sailing from there so, but one thing I would say, like, the hardest thing is to do is to lock eyes with people and, like, perform, you know? And I think as a performer, you need that, like, to kind of get, you know, your words through, like, yeah, you see me, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's, yeah, it's it's like a drug, I would say. For me, like, it's fun. Like, everything's out the window. I forget about if I have problems or anything. It's just out the window. I don't think about nothing else but performing my music and, like, it's definitely a good feeling and like i feel like that's why people love this shit, you know yeah, yeah yeah especially when you have a crowd and everyone's like knows your lyrics it's just another it's another feeling you can't even describe at that point you know but yeah. well we obviously everyone's gonna get to there and me too myself you know and just having that little you know just it could be 10 people screaming your lyrics that feeling right there is I guess priceless, you know, yeah. for me, you know, because mm-hmm. yeah. you're like yeah. receiving their energy. Yeah, so they're like it's like something you, you did in your room, and you're like, whoa, everyone knows mm-hmm. the lyrics. Or someone comes up to you and be like, yo, bro, that last shot you did right there, like, that was fire, mm-hmm. you know. And like, I didn't recognize the shot because I was just playing, mm-hmm. but they saw what you did, you mm-hmm. know. And that's how I see things. And like, yes, it's a 
an amazing feeling. Yeah, what about sure. like the moments leading up to that? Is there anything that you have to do for yourself before you like get on stage and perform? I actually do. I have this thing where I go to sleep. Oh, for real? <laughs> like, not even sleep, but just more like, I feel like I'm like a bear. I got to meditate. Meditating. Yeah. Meditating. Like you, yeah. you go into, uh -huh. like I get into like a very quiet mode. Like, I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to drink. I don't want to smoke. I don't, I just want to focus and like, you know what I'm saying? Be with like, yourself. Yeah, kind of like, take it in. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I, I like to like chill. But if it's like crazy, crazy, and every day is a party and every day is a show, I definitely have to get those 30 minutes before. Like, all right, let me know when I'm ready. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because torn, torn's a grind, right? Yeah, when yeah, you're, yeah. You're every torn. day is like a new city, new party, new environment, new vibes, new people. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how can you maintain a hundred at every just take little naps. <laughs> take little naps, man. That's the secret to everything. Just take little naps, kick it, you know? Yeah. But I just, that's what I do before every show. Just kind of keep to myself. And, like, everyone's like, yo, you ready? You ready? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just, mm -hmm. you know, more like just mentally prepping myself. Yeah. That's what I do every 30 minutes before a show. <laughs> but as a music head, what did you prefer? Do you prefer making the music or performing the music in front of a live audience? Both. I like both, actually, because I like producing it and then seeing your live product in the open, you know what I'm saying? Hearing it in louder speakers than the ones you made in your bedroom or in the studio. Like, seeing the feedback of someone moving to your beat or your song. I like both, I would say. that That's, that's more of my, both of them. Just to see some girl perreando to some shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's me, I'm, I'm the one. <laughs> She's over there dancing. And yeah, most of the time it was just all your girls over there screaming, Ay! Ay! Yas! Yas, yes! Roger! Yas, Roger! Yes! 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 See, she already got it. Bridget, though. Yo. You just, yes. just search for the A. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you hear A, it's me and the girl. A, yeah. a, yeah. a and a whole lot of ass shaking. Like, yeah. 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 Because we yeah. bring both. That, definitely. That's what the A stands for. Yeah. 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 A. And it's like, mount up. Like, yeah. <laughs> And like how? Yo, like, uh, she, <laughs> she, she walks in. She's like, hey. <laughs> what well, like, like, yeah. Hey, listen, we the, yeah. the Bridget stomp. The Bridget the stomps. Yo. Just, just you know, just seeing that, like, it gets you hype, bro. It's just like, I don't know. It's just, it just. Yeah, and then the thing is, the, it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. something about like, uh. No, no, no. Just, hey. You just become stronger in every yeah, place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And chill. I, you know. chill. Listen. Chill. 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 No. Oh, no, but I think related to that, like on art, on like my pers like my perspective, my side of things, like being on the other side of it, I feel like when I met you and then we started going to like your performances and, and where you would like perform, um, and the events you would have. Like, I think for me, it was just like, you know, like you're doing your thing, like you're coming up on your own. Like I have like a connection with you. You're local, you're representing, you know, El Salvador, you're representing Latinos. So for me, it was just like, this is so sick. Like I've never had like this, like relationship that was like very close with someone that's doing their thing and performing and uh, in the music industry yeah, and, and yeah. you were doing it for people that like i related to i connected to yeah. so for me it was like i'm supporting 100 percent, and i'm gonna hit up my girl yeah. my other girl because yeah. we're all gonna go because why not go have fun yeah. and support someone that's doing something like that and just like make it a whole vibe yeah you know? that's love no i, I every time i see y'all uh, it's it's a party it's a vibe yeah and, and she's always like i said <laughs> pulling my, ah! <laughs> i'm in there yeah she's in there yeah no definitely it's a vibe thank you for that and yeah. like yeah i always see y'all with your girls and they're partying hey listen you know what I'm saying? The we're all about teams. the parties all the vibes you see i've been i've been the the director of vibes since day one okay. yeah right. just confirmed it yeah you know bridget i was gonna say like that was that was really cool like that that yeah, whole see, but now say you just it. ruined it <laughs> 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 to piggyback on like on rigid like um for me it was it was it, it was just like seeing more salvadorians because like to be honest mm -hmm. like bef before i met fifa before ratchet it was like a lot of people in the, like now that i've been around them a lot like i meet a lot of people in the industry and there a lot of people are salvadorian but like 
nobody says it. Like, yeah, yeah, and like, yeah. All of a sudden now, like you, you seeing this whole Salvadorian conglomerate coming mm-hmm. up saying yeah. like we're Salvador, we're Salvadorian, mm-hmm. like. But like you guys been in the industry for a while, and like you guys never said it. Meet mm-hmm. these guys for a few months, like Ratchets, uh, uh, first single, half over half a million views when it came out. Yeah, he's coming in with the Salvadorian headband, mm-hmm. Salvadorian flag, Jersey, went everything. to a pupuseria yeah, to like, yeah. like, 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 yeah. Like, how was it as a Salvadorian trying to break into the industry? Because we, uh, even if you're Salvadorian, the cool thing to say is you're Mexican. It's yeah. not a bad thing, but it's just like what everybody knows. Like, you're it. It was it was it was a uh, a little difficult. I, I I would say you know what I'm saying because most people think automatically you're making reggaeton. You're either Puerto Rican mm-hmm. or you know what I'm saying you're from the coast over there. But like. I I really didn't put no boundaries, man, because making music don't have boundaries or borders, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, for me, it's like, I was repping what I love and where I am from uh, the, every day. I eat pupusas, I, you know, every, we all eat fucking frijoles and arroz at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We're all mm-hmm. Latinos and shit, but that didn't stop me from making the music that obviously uh, Puerto Ricans and kill it at or whatever and um it was kind of hard i would say because obviously when i got signed and to the label and all that they were putting me with the bad bunnies when he was coming up they were putting me with jay balvin they were putting me with anuel all these big dudes but i was like i'm not like these dudes why are you putting me in this but they I, they were doing something for me obviously you know trying to put me in there but um, it was just one of those weird things. It was a little harder for me because I was Salvador and I was repping Salvador. And people are like in interviews that would ask me, ¿Y tú por qué usas que lo que? You're not Dominican. You're not, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm like, that doesn't even matter, bro. Que lo que for the way you guys use it is not the same way we use it. We just say like, que lo que tú quieres, like, or que lo que. Like, we don't, mm-hmm. I'm not saying it like, yo, what up? You know what I'm right, saying? Right. But you could use it as, yo, what up? How mm-hmm. they use it. But it was hard. It was hard. I would, in the interviews, they were like, why, why do you make this type of music? You're Salvadoran. Or why do you, um, um, why do you, yeah, why do you use like Dominican or que lo que or whatever? Just that was the main question people would ask me for not because I was Salvadorian and I was repping the flag hard. Mm-hmm. There was nobody repping in like I would say in the Latin Grammys repping El Salvador, you know what I'm saying? I think they had mentioned some names, I don't know who they had mentioned, like oh yeah, this guy's killing it for El Salvador, but it didn't last so long. I, I, I haven't heard anything from him after that, but. It's just, it's hard, bro. It's really hard for a Salvadorian to come up in that game because they pretty much, they they don't accept it. They're like, if you're not Puerto Rican or you're not legit, you know, but it's, it is what it is, you know. I'm still going to rep it. I'm Salvadorian to the death of me, and it's cool. I, you know, it ain't nothing. <laughs> and if it isn't for, like, artists like you, then it's never going to go beyond that boundary. Yeah, that, that yeah. Limits, you know, the I music. mean... I think I was the first probably Salvadorian American to sign up to a major American label. You know, I was Mm -hmm. signed to Republic. I mean, it didn't last long, but hey, I I could say I was the first guy to do that. You know, not putting other OGs. I don't know who was there after or before me, but it's just like, yeah, I was the first guy to sign to Republic. And, you know, and it was like Travis Scott's in there. Post Malone, Drake, and I'm the only fucking pupusa guy in there, <laughs> Salvadorian guy, you know? But, hey, man, I mean, I it, it's part of history, and it is what it is, you know? Like, yeah. we made it, I broke the door, and now it's up to everybody to do the same, you know? Just come in here hot, like, bam, mm-hmm. like, show them. And that's why I love what FIFA's doing, Harley's doing, Mas, everybody, every Salvadorian that I can name right now at the top of my head, like, straight up. Like, yeah. obviously, that's the Latino family, mm-hmm. but every Salvadorian that's pushing for, for us in music, do it, bro. Don't get scared. Yeah. It, we, we, we out here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 And, and you've had a lot of experience in the music industry, whether it was being signed to a major label, working as an A&R. Yeah. Um, what, how do you navigate that, that whole business side of things? Um, and what, what, what are some lessons that you've learned along the way? Um, lesson number one, I would say don't sign no contracts till your lawyer, you know what mm. I'm saying, sees it. And just know your business, you know what I'm saying? Like, be in it, bro. Like, don't just sign and not know nothing, you know, where what's going, what's coming in, what you signing for, royalty, splits, 
everything like music you gotta know the business and do the work you know what i'm saying and like i feel like it's better for me to know the in and outs of the music industry that way i don't get at all you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so i feel like it's good for me like i know like yo they're not gonna screw me over you know but some people are desperate and sign a bad deal or whatever but yeah i i would say for me, it's it's a good thing. I know the ins and outs because people sign bad contracts most mm -hmm. of the time, and mm -hmm. that's the only thing that I would say. Number one rule: know your business yeah. in that. So, yeah, yeah, that and you're you're independent now. Uh yeah, I'm independent now. So, so what what benefits like, uh, what are the some of the differences that you've seen? Well, independent to be honest is it's hard, bro. It's really hard because. Now you have to do everything yourself. You got to budget everything yourself. You have to pay everything yourself. But obviously, if you build like an in-house studio and then do everything in-house 100%, then at that point, you're good. You know what I'm saying? But independent, it's just funding everything yourself. That's the hard part. You know what I'm saying? As an independent artist. But now these days, you don't really need money to make noise. You know what I'm saying? All you need is good marketing plan, a good little team of two people that are willing to ride with you and go up there with you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a perfect videographer, and photographer that's willing to shoot content with you. And that's pretty much it. And you, your work, drop music and all that. I mean, obviously, I should take my own advice because <laughs> I haven't dropped music, you know what I'm saying? But it's because I've been playing chess instead of checkers. Mm -hmm. Instead of giving you everything, you know what I'm saying, and like dropping it. I have little, you know, little plays. I don't want to sure. speak to them right, too right, much, right. but I have little plays where it's bigger than just me dropping a single. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's more of a master plan instead of like, I'm going to have, I'm going to drop a single when I drop a video, merch, this, this, that, this. I do online YouTube. I do blogging. I yeah. do Twitch. So it's all going to come at you like full bam. And that's what I've been talking about, mm -hmm. Ratchet World. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, so... It's it's a, uh, it's I don't know it's a crazy thing for me right now. I'm just all over the place. <laughs> no, but your products are pretty cool. Like you you had the you had the tapes, um, yeah. skateboard I believe. Yeah. Um. So like and it, and it's like great booty facial. shorts. Yeah. The 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 the, the hotline the one eight hundred was it? Uh, yeah. One eight hundred Valentine's hotline. Yeah. <laughs> all kind. I had a number you could call, and then they would leave me voice no. messages and stuff. <laughs> I had this uh, lady say like that she wanted me to be her donut guy. <laughs> she wants me to eat her donuts and all kinds of crazy shit. She like papacito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, my hotline hot coming soon. Hot moms. <laughs> my hotline was hotline. My yeah, hot hot coming, hot 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 coming soon. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's it's crazy, man. I I try to put my feet in everything. You know what I'm saying? I like planting seeds a lot, like everywhere around, in everywhere, pretty mm -hmm. much. You know, it can be the smallest seed. You never know, man. The plant will grow. You know, so mm -hmm. that's pretty much how I look at things. Yeah. Plant a seed everywhere. Like you know, who who would have known I'm here talking about soccer and kicking it with y'all? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at first I was like, damn, what are we going to talk about? I don't, I don't really play soccer too much. <laughs> but well, one thing you did want to talk about, you mentioned this earlier, is the jerseys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So okay. So, yeah, the jerseys. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? For all the fat people watching out there and all the people that do jerseys and print stuff, why do, why do, why do, I can't even say this right now. We don't have fat people jersey sizes. Mm -hmm. They don't make jerseys for fat people. Why is that? It's a great question. It's and a very like, good question. Like, you can go to a stadium right now. I could walk the whole stadium. I will not find a 3X that's going to fit me. Like, at all. Yeah. I mean, I should lose weight and run, but damn it. Come <laughs> <laughs> that's one. Yeah. Wow. Any, hey, man. any collaborators, all you fashion people. Hey, I need a big boy jerk. Yeah. Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up. I take this back. The only guy that got me a 3X jersey was either... Trico Sports and uh, oh, Tricor Sports, yeah, yeah tricor. and um, um, Nikki. Oh, Nikki! Shout out to Nikki yeah. Sports, yeah. friends of the, friends of the pod as well. Yeah. Too, like Nikki, they had to like order it for me. Or exactly, something. Yeah. and like maybe you had to have a connection to make that happen. Yeah, but what yeah. about like the norm? What about the people that are exactly. okay with that their I, the norm. Yeah. I, pull, I had to pull a little rapper move exactly. and be like, "Hey, man." 
you know who I am? Nah, nah, never. I'm I would, I would never. Google me. Google me. Won't be, won't be, bro. Nah, bro. Uh, I would never in my life ever be that guy. Right. I don't think so. You could cancel me if I become that guy. <laughs> no, I don't think you ever will. You're very, nah. you're very nice. You're nah. humble. You, yeah. You don't come off as that Thank at you. all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we get a jersey for the retired people? Yeah, though? man. <laughs> like, yeah. What? Yeah, what if uh, true, I though. used to play soccer and mm-hmm. I was so slim and, you know, what I'm saying but I want some. Up your knee. Yeah, and then now I'm just <laughs> life happens yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Now I'm just yeah. this chubby dude. You know, what I'm saying that don't play soccer no more. And wants to be yeah. a supportive fan. Tell me but about it. I can't it, rock my up. team. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> it was so hard to find a three X Real Madrid jersey. Barcelona Damn. fan here. Can't, yeah. can't relate with the Real Madrid. Man, I was like I'm Barcelona <laughs> fan over here. I'm yes, feel you, I, feel I am. You. And I, I don't know what he, he just spoke to me right now. The guy that played soccer, a little bit of college, now a little chubby. He's talking oh. about who you. <laughs> I'm, sorry. About me. I'm sorry. I'm talking about no, your but stats. It's true. It's true. No, like, it it's true. true. Like it's true though. Like. All like, bro. Growing up, I never wore a soccer jersey because they never had my size. That I would rock, bro. I would rock so many teams, but I, they never had my size. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I can't support. I can't. Yeah, right. I can't Ratchet times it. Urban Pitch retired FC shirt. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> retired <laughs> FC plus yeah. size. Yeah. Three, three. You gotta get some tall, some tall, uh, tall fits. Bro, there we go. I'm telling you, you would actually. There's big people that that would buy it. Bro. I mean, yeah. So, I, I mean, we've been to a lot of stadiums, and like, it's not only models that are in the crowd. You know what I mean? It's mostly like, chubby dudes with <laughs> beers, like yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> trying like, to like go hard for their team. Yeah. Talking to me again. It is true. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing too. Like, if if it doesn't relate to you, then you're not gonna know. Right. Yeah, and it's like one of those things. Like, I want to rep my team. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. I want to rep it so when like may, maybe I have a random conversation with someone in a bar and be like, "Oh, you a Madrid fan or are you?" W-? That's not gonna happen ever to me because I can't rock, rock nothing, you know. Like, yeah. Uh, but jerseys, obviously, they have up to like five X because those guys are tall and big. Yeah. But yeah, soccer jerseys, man, step it up, make some big sizes for the big people. If you're hearing this, do it, please. Speaking ASAP. facts. ASAP. Because usually the only basketball jerseys in. Baseball jerseys that fit yeah. the, the thicker yeah. size guys. They got yeah. some football jerseys too. <laughs> football. Yo, football, 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 football. But see, football, they're football, yeah. too big. <laughs> so they're too big. Yeah, they're too big because they got to fit the pads. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. So they're sense. too big. So like, I had this Jerome Bettis shirt when I was in the uh, bus. Yeah, I got it. Um, Juju got us some tickets to come and see him play. We went and go see him play, and I was like, yo. I can buy a jersey that fits. <laughs> yes. Juju, Juju Smith. Yeah, yeah, Juju, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I didn't buy a Juju jersey. I should have bought a Juju jersey and made him sign it, but I bought a Jerome Bettis shirt <laughs> because I, I, a, I like priorities. Sports, it's a legend, bro. That's yeah, a legend. It's a, and it was a throwback. It was an original throwback. So I'm like, oh, yeah, that's hard. I need that. And I was like, Bye. sold, <laughs> yeah. bought it, put it on the stadium. And, but then now that I'm looking at it, I was like, damn, it's a little big, too big. big. Yeah, so I don't really rock it, but... Looking like a like a mid two thousands music video shoot. <laughs> oh, hockey jerseys. Hockey jerseys. Too. Hockey jerseys as well. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, perfect. You can't be a top five sports if you can't make jerseys for the big guys. Yeah, I said oh. it. Oh. I said it. Oh. I said it. See, I didn't want to go the, there. Cause that's what's holding back. It's not pro. It's yeah. not pay to play. It's it's, it's none of that. Jerseys. Sizes. Yeah, that's what's holding yeah. back soccer. Wow. One hundred percent. You 100%. discovered it, bro. Yeah. Broke the matrix right there. Yeah. You said it. I did it. Okay. That's the limit. That's the yeah. limitation holding yeah. us back. <laughs> really? I mean, you probably would have more people rocking more and more fans. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Probably not more fans. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But I mean, I mean you never you know. Because you can't it be doesn't the only exist. one that said this. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But, but yeah. definitely that would help the sport more. Of course. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's more marketing, more eyes, more mm-hmm. visuals. People get more to see it. More representation. Like, for example, I just saw a cool jersey from a... Uh, Austin SC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That jersey looks sick because it's giving mm-hmm. me that throwback mm-hmm. type of style mm-hmm. with the stripes. Yeah, yeah, and the green I'm and black. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. hard, you know? And mm-hmm. I saw one of my friends DJing for them. That's why I was like, dude, that jersey looks hard. Had the Yeti or something. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. their yeah. sponsor. That's yeah, hard, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, how can I get one of those? 
You know, but obviously, I, if I go to the site, I'm not gonna find it. You gotta hit up Matthew McConaughey. He's uh, one of the, he's one of their owners. <laughs> he what? is, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's hey, there and goes hard. I need one. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. should you another know, one. Send this over to him. Yeah, yeah. Send, 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 really. <laughs> send this over. Yeah. Hey Matthew, if you're watching this, you know we're big <laughs> yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah. We love, on, you know, we yeah, love we, Interstellar. It's a great just movie. Just make sure our names in here in the back: Ratchetton, <laughs> Julio. Yeah, just seen Magic Mike like seven times. Like, come on, just send it over, bro. <laughs> so, hey, listen. He's exactly. like, man, these guys keep sending me emails and now they're sending me videos. <laughs> no, but yeah, definitely soccer needs to step it up. Football needs to step it up with the bigger jerseys. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because all our deals and all that big deals and stepdads, uncles, whatever, everything, bro, they're not those guys no more and yeah. they want to rep their team, you know? That part. For sure. Everybody's deal could have been a pro if they would have never. Knee. Or if they're coaching, oh, yeah. <laughs> or their ankle, or, or their they, ankle. If or they, they ankle. didn't Rolled drink as ankle. much. Yeah. <laughs> like, I had to ankle before. It takes three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Relax. Yeah, a lot can happen in three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. I actually saw weeks. my stepdad break his uh, ankle Dang. at a, at a game. He was playing. Oh. He was like, he's actually the one that I would say sparked my soccer more because. After like middle school, I was more into music. I was like, eh, I don't want to play soccer. I'm not a goalie. This is not for me. Obviously, I didn't want to train too. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's some other so yeah, I was like, I don't want to yeah, train yeah. and all that. Go to practice and all that. <laughs> so yeah, so you know, I stirred away. But my stepdad, you know, growing up, he was a big Real Madrid fan, and he would wake up every Boca Junior. He'll just wake up and he'll be watching the games early in the morning. And that's one thing I suck at getting up early to watch these games you know Mm -hmm. and like recently actually i still suck to get up early so the the way i find out about the games when Real's playing or whatever if they're up if they're losing is by just checking my friend's instagram Mm. and my friend he he's like he's from new york shout out to my boy blown uh killer b enrique he screams bro he's like (laughs) a microphone without a microphone like a mega box you know what i'm saying he's from born from new york but he was raised in l.a He's like, <laughs> recording it. What's up, bro? Screaming to his television like crazy, yeah. and seeing him like on the thing, I'm like, okay, we're good. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, we're good, you know. Yeah. But until we saw the beat down and she, yeah. and like, then I posted it, uh, and yeah, then you were like, that was tough. I was like, <laughs> tough, bro. I like hey, you. Where's, where's Barcelona? Uh, yeah. Uh, first yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's first what I said. Yeah. Karma, yeah. Karma got Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, yeah. I was telling my, my friends, playing one league opposed to playing three, it's hard. Okay. It's hard. You got to concentrate about one league. Of course, anybody. Yeah. You have a great team. Champions you in one league. You can't win all the championships. Yeah, you, you know were out the you were out the champions early. Here, you, know? you was out the champions early. Yeah. You was out the out Euro- Europa like, early. Uh, yeah. like champions junior early. Yeah. <laughs> the Europa like, yeah. and then you had to worry about a whole league while we had to worry about three, three cups. Yeah. 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 Anyway, y'all still lost. Where's but like, bro, like y'all lost know. for the last yeah. five years. So it's yeah. all good. <laughs> Listen, Actually, you I'm, know what's crazy? I have not heard not not one good thing about your team. I have not heard no new recent players that people are like, oh, oh, yeah, we, yeah. Yes. we have, we have, I know, we have them yes, coming you up. Bro, you know and, what? Yeah. And you have money troubles. You have to get yeah. a whole Spotify deal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, 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 yo, and, and you got and Rosalia up in there. Man. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo. That was low-key kind of hard. And I heard y'all paying refs, too. Y'all paying refs. Listen, we going through it. You're right. We're going through it. But it doesn't doesn't mean that I'm oh, gonna no, shy yeah. away from repping in Barcelona. Of you course know, ride not. or die. Yeah. So it is what it is. Respect, and when y'all lose, respect, I'm gonna celebrate. Yeah, that's, you know. that's just how it that's works. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's just how yeah, it, it works. It does. The ops. They yeah, be always the celebrating like every time we lose to any cheap ass team, they're all like, Yeah, <laughs> we win. Yeah, they <laughs> win. They win. <laughs> this is the first year they've gotten happiness because the last few years they've been going with other teams and it's not been working for them. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, like. You see the 14 on the on the side. Don't, like, don't worry, Holland will come to Real Madrid and then. Hey, okay, let's not let's not. Mbappe, let's hope that co- Mbappe coming soon. Mbappe hey, we're gonna get soon. Messi back, so I don't know. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> Messi out here apologizing online. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Dude, that I went on vacation. Like living his best life after Yo, he won heard, that World I, Cup. I mean, don't they want to kick him out from PSG yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah but he's, like, he's leaving PSG apparently. Yeah, most likely he's going to leave. Going to Saudi Arabia. One point two one point two billion for two years. It's crazy. I'm gone. Yo. Yeah. Hey, what? Well, he's going to play with Cristiano? No, he's going to play against him. Against, against him. In, them. On the Princes or like King's team or something like that? Yeah. Something. Yeah. Oh, um, damn. So he's on. Uh, Saudi Arabia is doing it right. 
Yeah. Like they're they know what they're they doing. They want to see the big yeah. dogs. Well, well they got the money. They're trying to spend it. China, I mean, China tried to do the same money. thing a couple years ago. So we'll see how this works. Give me one point. China does it in basketball. <laughs> well, they were doing yeah. it for for soccer too. Like in the like mid twenty fifteens or like mid mid twenty tens. Yeah, they, they signed uh, Hulk from from Brazil. Uh, uh, what's his name uh, from Argentina? Argentina dude, uh, Tevez. Carlos Tevez, Tevez yeah, they, yeah. Um, they 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 they're paying a bunch of dudes to, to go out there. It didn't really work out. Pato. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. So we'll see how, how it goes in Saudi Arabia. But uh, listen, man, we're running out of time here. Um, <laughs> All right. So uh, to, to, to wrap things up, what, like, what, what are you working on? What are you trying to promo? You got, you got a, a, a free, free uh, promo right here. For, for and uh, give us some ratchet advice at the end as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm working on a cumbia project right now that I've been working hard on. Like, pause. Big pause, actually. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> on this cumbia project, uh, I've been going back and forth. Uh, San Antonio and back just to you know dial it down going to Dallas coming back but uh, yeah working on this cumbia project coming soon I uh, have three singles I got some music that I mean I might as well just say I got some with Gemini Sikan he's uh, Sikan is like a big Mexican artist mm-hmm. in Mexico and I'm just like I said I, was, I got uh, Jay Romero be a Pola bro let me see who else was in there I'm pretty sure I got like tons of records with FIFA and Harley and everybody. Um, but right now, the three main singles would be all the Cumbia stuff that's going to come out. And then four other ones with a record label that I've been trying to not talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Under Keep it on the low. Keep it on the low. Yeah, yeah. But just those are the main projects that are going to come out soon. And stay tuned for that. Uh, music video with Danny Duncan. That Donde está la leche. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And yeah, I got new clothes coming out, Ratchet World. I also have a city, if you guys play in video game, Ratchet City RP is uh, for people that play role playing, Grand Theft Auto online and stuff. I have a whole community of people that play. Um, that's pretty much it. And then you can find me at Ratchet World. Well, actually, Ratchet.World. <laughs> I don't even have a .com because I'm <laughs> trying to make it unique. Right. And, yeah, you can find me at all platforms, Ratcheton, El Marrat. El she's... Marrat. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, man, um, thank you guys for having me. And, well, thanks for coming by. Oh uh, Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate, appreciate your time. And uh, you said a ratchet advice, huh? We're going to do it with uh, Ratchet's final thought right now after this message. So. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna take somebody else's advice and copy them because um uh, it's a good advice and it's like never go for the girl that uh you like go for the girl that likes you. Ooh, let's go. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Go because, where you want it. Go where yeah, you want yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because then you're going to get out of your character to try to please the girl that you want instead of the girl that already likes you for who you are. That part. Yep. That's great advice. Uh, that's just on. Thank you so much for, Thank for, you guys. for coming by. This has been the Urban Pitch Podcast, the beautiful game of life, part of the Believe Network. For Julio Monterosa, Ratchaton, Bridge of Flores, I'm Ramsey Abushala. We'll catch you all next time. Hey. Keep rocking in the free world. In- <laughs> <laughs>